It's 532. A retired police officer is speaking out against APD. It's not the first time he's come out speaking about police brutality. He was recently interviewed for articles featured in Rolling Stone magazine and The New Yorker. This time, he's addressing the public at UNM to talk about the pattern of police violence in Albuquerque. News 13's Catherine Mazzone has more. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Crystal. Well, the talk is part of a lecture series at UNM called Police Violence and Social Control. It comes months after a scathing DOJ report that outlined a pattern of police violence within the department. So why now? Every chance I get to speak out about police brutality and, and uh, police corruption and police cover-up, I, I take that opportunity. Hired APD officer Samson Costales. He says despite the DOJ report, he believes there are still issues within the department. Salas tells us he thinks the culture of APD and the mindset of Albuquerque police to cover for fellow officers still exists. He says he believes his 22 years of experience as a field officer will provide greater insight into why APD officers operate the way they do during certain situations. This is all information he'll provide at the question and answer lecture today. It'll be beneficial for them to hear some of my, my stories about what went on behind the scenes of the police department and what actually is the mindset of a police officer. And we reached out to APD to find out their take on the lecture series. Here's what they had to say. We respect everyone's right to have an opinion and share it with others. Our hope is that those who are most critical of our department will roll up their sleeves to be part of the solution in a productive manner. Back to you. Catherine, thanks. APD also included a number of steps that they're taking to revamp the department and reach out to the community, including their interactive forum, talk with a cop, coffee with a cop, and community police collaborative roundtables.